Whenever I'm planning a hiking trip, backpacking trip, or canoe camping trip, I always think a lot about what I'm going to pack. This is my go home bag. My go home bag is something that I pack on all of my camping trips. I don't take it with me camping. I don't take it with me to the campsite or backpacking. I actually leave it in my car. A go home bag is the bag that you have when you get back to your car at the end of a camping trip and it has everything that'll make you feel more comfortable for your ride home. When I go camping, I often feel grimy and a little bit dirty and stinky at the end of the trip. Not because I don't bathe, I do bathe, I wash my hair, I even go swimming, but at the end of the trip you still kind of just feel gross. <laughs> the things in this bag are meant to make me just feel a little bit better. Things I keep in my car for after my camping trips include a water bottle. I always want to have water in my car. Yes, I will have water when I'm camping, but Sometimes on the way back, when I'm canoe camping especially, or hiking, you drink the water on your way back to the car, and when you get to the car, you might even be out. So I like to have extra water in the car just in case. Along with that, I will pack some kind of snack. Sometimes it's a granola bar, sometimes it is a type of candy, something that won't melt when it sits in my car while I'm out camping. I will keep my toiletry bag in my go-home bag as well. Toiletries that I I'm for sure going to pack our wet wipes. I love wet wipes for camping. I take them when I go camping and I also have some in my car for when I get back to the car, I can wipe myself down and feel a little bit better before I even start driving. I also will have things like lotion, maybe a fresh toothbrush, toothpaste. I will bring shampoo, conditioner, soap, and all of those things are because I often find a place to shower before I take the long drive home. I'll get more into that in a little bit. Deodorant is another thing that you can put in your toiletry bag, as well as a hairbrush. I always pack a hairbrush. I will bring a hairbrush camping into the Boundary Waters or backpacking and it'll be in my pack, but when I get back to the car, if I want to brush through my hair or something like that, it's nice to have an extra hairbrush in the car because I don't want to necessarily unpack my whole portage pack or backpacking backpack in the car just to find these things before I start driving. Same with the shampoo and conditioner and soap. I might have those things packed in my camping stuff, but I don't always want to unpack that in the car. I always have a phone charger in my car. Whether I take my phone with me into my camping adventure or I leave it in the car, it's probably dead or almost dead by the time I get back. Having the charger means that I can charge it up and use the GPS and play music from my phone as I'm driving on my way home. Another thing along those lines is I will usually download a Google map of my location that I will be driving to and from. Um, before I start the camping trip, before I leave home, so that when I get to my car, I can turn on that map, whether or not I have cell phone service. Often where I go camping, there's no cell phone service. If I don't pre-download the map, I might not be able to find my way back to town, depending on where I am, depending on if it's a new area or not. I also pack car shoes. So when I'm going canoe camping or backpacking, I often have been wearing the same shoes for multiple days and I don't want to wear those driving. So these are the shoes I'm going to put on, let my feet air out, and drive home in. I will also bring a fresh set of clothing. I will bring a shirt, some pants, or maybe a dress, and then some undergarments. If you bought my YouTube shirt, you could pack that with. These shirts are available uh, to purchase. The link is in the description of this video. You can check it out and order one. There are tree leaves and needles printed onto the shirt, so it's kind of like your tree guide all in a shirt that you can wear when you're hiking and stuff. I also make sure to pack cash in my go home bag because sometimes there are cute little gift shops or coffee shops or things like that that I want to stop at that only accept cash. I also will have feminine products in my go home bag. Yes, I probably will also have feminine products in my camping gear, but when you need them, right when you get to your car, or you want to change, then you have fresh stuff. Easy access. It's just nice to have them as easy access in your car. So those are all things that I keep in my go home bag. If you are a person who grows facial hair, you might want to have a razor, shaving cream, a body spray can be nice. If you wear contacts, you might want to have fresh contacts in your go-home bag. If you wear glasses, you might want to have glasses cleaner in your go-home bag or eye drops. Anything that pertains to you. I highly recommend 
getting a shower before you head home after exiting a wilderness experience. I just find that it's super refreshing. On my most recent camping experience, uh, you can watch the video actually, Corey and I went camping and on our way out, we didn't record this, but we went straight to an outfitter and paid a small fee to use their shower. We took our little caddies with our shampoo, conditioner, and soap, and toothbrush and got cleaned up and felt fresh before we drove home. It just feels really, really nice <laughs> to do that. A lot of outfitters or places like that will have showers that you can pay a small fee to use after you're finished camping. If there are things that you pack in your go home bag that I didn't mention here, make sure to let us know in the comments. I appreciate hearing your guys' feedback and things that you do when you're camping. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this or videos where I actually go camping, make sure to subscribe and watch those. I always have new videos coming out, usually every week. <laughs> I'm actually going camping tomorrow, so I will leave this packed.